South Louisiana Quiz Bowl Online is made possible by the generous support of these sponsors. Lapco Manufacturing, Modern Industrial Workwear. Auctioner St. Mary, get the care you need close to home. Homa Paint and Industrial Supply, proud supporter of education in the Bayou region. Hello and welcome once again to South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. We continue our junior high quarterfinals today. LaRose Cutoff Middle School taking on Glencoe Charter School. This is an elimination match with the winner advancing to the semifinals. So good luck to both teams. And that's rapid fire round. We're going to be dealing with words, numbers, or sounds that repeat themselves in your answer. Good luck. You won't need glasses if you have this kind of vision. Haley. Four eyes. I uh, know 2020. A small metal pellet used in air rifles. Ajaya. BB. That's right. Year in which Franz Schubert composed his sixth symphony. That was 1818. A small cut or bruise or Yogi Bear's little buddy. Ajaya. Bobo. Uh, I'll accept that. This anti-art art movement flourished after World War I. That was data or data. Average, run-of-the-mill, fair to middling. John Ryan. Common. Uh, no, so-so. Don't forget the category. Year in which Louis the Fifteenth granted a charter to Louisiana. Ethan. That is seventeen seventeen. In human beings, this chromosome pair produces a female. Oh, Alexa. X X. That's right. Year in which the Catholic Church arrested Galileo. 1616, and that's the end of the round. <laughs> Let's take a moment and let the players introduce themselves. We'll start with LCO. I'm John Ryan, Danos Hyman, Band, Robotics, and Quiz Bowl. I'm Ethan Keith, and beside Quiz Bowl, I'm in Band and play the violin. I'm Alexa, I'm in eighth grade, and I do Band and Back. I'm Faith. I'm in eighth grade. Besides quiz bowl, I do band and volleyball. Let's hear more about LCL from team captain Ethan Keefe. LCL Middle School can be found along Highway 1 and is one of the largest schools in Lafourche Parish. It was a high school until 1966. We, um, LCL is based on curriculum, learning, and We would like to thank Mr. Chris Hunter, KWBJ, for inviting us to compete in this year's tournament. We would also like to thank um, the parents for helping us out. Go Bulldogs. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you to the faculty sponsor, Mr. Ronald Dupuy. Let's welcome back LaRose Cutoff Middle School. Here are the players for Glencoe Charter. My name is Legend Vu, and I like boxing and video games. Hi, my name is Ajay Harris. I'm in the eighth grade and I like volleyball and softball. My name is Mariah Matthews. I'm in the eighth grade and I like softball and other sports. My name is Haley. I like to read and write and I like archery. Ajay is the team captain. Tell us about Glencoe Charter. Emerging from the midst of the swamp is a quaint educational institution known as BB Glencoe Charter School. Our school is located a few minutes shy from the shore of the Gulf of Mexico and Supermo Point. In recent years, our school has made many developmental steps, and we are now proud to announce our school is home to all grades, pre-K through 12. Although we are small in quantity, we are sizable in intellect and school spirit. This year, our thriving charter school will celebrate having its first high school graduating class. We also offer many extracurricular activities such as baseball, softball, archery, basketball, volleyball, student council, beta, 4-H, and we especially are grateful for a great quiz bowl season. Thank you, Ajaya. Thank you to the faculty sponsors, Ms. Mike and Perry and Ms. Corey Pellerin. Let's welcome back Glencoe Charter School. <laughs> Moving on now to our toss-up bonus round. Start with a two-point toss-up. What type of establishment were both Presidents Ford and Reagan leaving when they suffered assassination attempts? Ethan. That's incorrect. Glencoe? They were both walking out of hotels. Two point toss up. What's the name for a list of computer functions appearing on the display which indicates the possible operations the computer can perform next? Hey, Haley. Code. Incorrect. LCO. Faith. Software. Uh, no, the menu. Two point toss up. 
This lustrous volcanic glass is usually black or banded and displays curvy, shine surfaces when fractured. What's it called? John Ryan. Obsidian. That's correct. Bonus for LCO. I want you to identify the following words that begin with the, pre the prefix sub, S-U-B. A residential area located near a much larger city. Suburb. That's right. A number that is written below and to the right of a letter in a chemical Subscript. equation. Subscript. Correct. And a verb meaning to yield to a superior force or to the desires of another person. Subdue. That's incorrect. Blanco. Sub, sub, sub. Submit. Your answer? Submit. Submit. That's correct. Four for LCO, two for Glencoe. Here's a two-point toss-up. Isaac Newton discovered he could break up white light into the colors of the rainbow by using what simple, Ethan? A prism. That's correct. Bonus to LCO. What is the mechanical advantage of each of the following simple machines? An inclined plane that has a height of four meters and a ramp that measures 12 meters. Your answer? Jet. Uh, that's incorrect. Blanco? Skip. Uh, the answer is three. LCO, a lever that uses 15 newtons of force to lift a load that weighs 60 newtons. Four. That's right. And an inclined plane that has a length of five meters and a height of two meters. 2.5. That's correct. You got two right for four points. Here's a two point toss up. I want you to fill in the blank in this quote with a two word place name. The speaker is General Douglas MacArthur. But in the evening of my memory, always I come back to blank. Always there echoes and re echoes duty, honor, country. Ethan. Pearl Harbor. That's incorrect. Blanco. Anyone? It is West Point, the U.S. Military Academy. Two-point toss-up. In 1588, the English defeated the invincible Spanish Armada. Philip II was Spain's reigning monarch at the time. Who ruled England in 1588? Ethan. King Henry. That's incorrect. Blanco. Ajaya. King Henry the Ninth. Uh, no, it was Queen Elizabeth the First. Two-point toss-up. Who said? When I keep reading that I'm America's most successful playwright, it amazes me. He was, in fact, the most financially successful playwright in American history, with writing credits that included The Odd Couple, Barefoot in the Park, The Goodbye Girl, and Brighton Beach Memoirs. He died in 2018. Who was he? Anyone? That was Neil Simon. Two-point toss-up. Got some math for you here. What is 10%? of 90% of 100. 10% of 90% of 100. Faith. Nine. That's correct. Bonus to LCO. And we are in astronomy here. On July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made their historic landing on the moon. For two points, what was the name of the lunar module in which they traveled? Apollo 11. That's incorrect. Let's go. Oops. Your answer? Pass. It was the Eagle. LCO, Michael Collins, the third crew member, remained in the command module. What was his module called? Apollo 11. That's incorrect. Let's go. Your answer? Pass. It was Columbia. And LCO, what was the name of the space mission that put these men on the surface of the moon? Apollo 11. It's Apollo 11. That was the name of the mission. You got one right for two points. Here's a two point toss up. On a ship, lights are used to allow the crew of an approaching ship to identify the sides of the vessel. What color lights are used? 
babies. Red. Multiple. Red and white. Sorry, no. Blanco. Hey, Haley. Red and orange. No, red and green. And that is the end of the round. Let's take Welcome back to Quiz Bowl. Here's a new player entering the game for Glencoe Charter. Hi, my name is Noah Zolot. I'm in seventh grade. And besides Quiz Bowl, I enjoy playing video games and reading books. Welcome to the game, Noah. LCO leading Glencoe Charter as we continue on. Here are some two-point toss-ups. In what state is Zion National Park? Ethan. California. Incorrect. Glencoe. Haley. Arkansas. I uh, know it's Utah. What document states the reasons for the desire of the American colonies to be free of British rule? Ethan. Declaration of Independence. That's right. Name the capital of Denmark. Legend. Copenhagen. That's right. How many cuts must a carpenter make to cut a 12-foot board into three equal parts? A giant. Four. Incorrect. I'll see how Ethan. Two. Two is right. Here's some math. Express your answer as a fraction. 0.1 times 0.1. Give me a fraction. Uh, Ethan. One tenth. Incorrect. No. One one hundred. One one hundred is right. The old saying goes, real men don't eat quiche, but real quiz bowl players can spell quiche. Anyone? John Ryan. K-I-S-H-E. That's incorrect. Can go? Noah. K-E-I-S-H. No, it's Q. Yeah. U-I-C-H-E. Be prepared is the motto of the Boy Scout Scouts. What's the motto of the Cub Scouts? It is do your best. What was the principal material used in constructing the Taj Mahal? <sighs> Ethan. Quartz. Incorrect. Blanco? No. Mar it marble. is marble. That is the end of the round. LCO still in the lead as we come to our 62nd round. So Glencoe, you've got first choice of categories. You can have geography, who, what, or life science. Geography? They want geography. <laughs> Give them geography. <laughs> Where a country is located plays a very important part in its history and development. In this list of countries, you tell me whether they have a coastline on the Atlantic, the Pacific, or whether they're landlocked. So all of your answers are going to be either Atlantic, Pacific, or landlocked. Good luck. Chile. Pacific. For Pacific. your team. It's for your team. Pacific. That's right. Ten. Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Landlocked. Landlocked. That's right. Portugal. Uh, Atlantic. Hmm? Atlantic. Atlantic. Correct. Nepal. Landlocked. 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 That's right. Argentina. Argentina. Uh, Atlantic. 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 That's right. Peru. Uh, Pacific. Pacific. Correct. Brazil. Atlantic. Atlantic. That's right. New Zealand. Pacific. Correct. Hungary. Landlocked. Landlocked. That's right. Liberia. Uh, Atlantic. Atlantic. You got 10 out of 10. You get a three-point bonus for that. 23 points. Very good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> LaRose Cutoff. You've got who, what, or life science. <coughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> Going with who? Okay. Tell me who in these. Good luck. Who served as U.S. President for most of the 1950s? Truman. Incorrect. What first lady later chaired the United Nations Commission on Human Rights? Pass. What Mormon leader ran for president in 1844 but was killed by a mob? Pass. Uh, three of the 100 tallest buildings in New York City are named for which real estate tycoon? Empire State Building. Incorrect. What Nobel Prize winning scientist said imagination is more important than knowledge? Curie. Incorrect. 
the Congress of Vienna dealt mainly with the aftermath of what leaders fall from power. Do you have an answer? Quickly. Sorry, I'm going to have to call you on it. No points for that. Here you go, Glencoe. Who served as U.S. president for most of the, of the 1950s? It's a bonus for your team. FDR? Uh, no, Eisenhower. What first lady later chaired the United States Commission on Human Rights? Answer? Pass. It is Eleanor Roosevelt. What Mormon leader ran for president in 1844 but was killed by a mob? Pass. Joseph Smith. Three of the 100 tallest buildings in New York City are named for which real estate tycoon? Answer? Empire? No, some guy named Trump. What Nobel Prize winning scientist said imagination is more important than knowledge? Einstein. That's right. The Congress of Vienna dealt mainly with the aftermath of what leaders fall from power? Pass. Uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. You got one right for two points, and that's the end of the round. Let's take a break, and we're right back with more South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. <clears throat> South Louisiana Quiz Bowl Online is made possible by the generous support of these sponsors. Lapco Manufacturing, Modern Industrial Workwear. Auctioner St. Mary, get the care you need close to home. Homa Paint and Industrial Supply, proud supporter of education in the Bayou region. Welcome back to South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. Here's a new player coming in for La Rose Cutoff. Hi, I'm Jake Petrie. I'm in the seventh grade, and besides Quiz Bowl, I do robotics and football. All right, welcome to the game. Glencoe Charter leads LCO. Last round, two-point toss-ups. Here we go. The city of Rochester is a cradle of technology, having been the founding hometown of Kodak, Xerox, and Bal Shalom, among others. In what northeast state is Rochester? Jake. New York. That's right. Baseball statistics. What are you credited with if you throw the ball to a teammate who puts out a runner? John Ryan. Home run. Incorrect. Glencoe. It is an assist. What city did British forces under the command of General Robert Ross burn on August 24, 1814? Ethan. D.C. That's right. In acting, gestures are sometimes as important as words. What name is given to acting without words? Ajaya. Mimicking. Incorrect. LCO. Alexa. Mime. More specific. Um, miming. It is pantomime. Astronaut Eugene Cernan says walking on the moon was an overwhelming experience. He said he saw so much logic and purpose in the universe that he became convinced of what? Ethan. Aliens. Incorrect. Glad up. Again, convinced of the existence of God. The primary cause of hay fever is the pollen of the genus Ambrosia. Identify the popular name of the annoying plant that produces that irritant. Haley. Flowers. That's incorrect. I'll see you. Ethan. Straw. No, it's ragweed. These eels are among the largest, sometimes growing up to 10 feet. They are voracious and will attack anything. What are they called? John Ryan. Electric eel. Incorrect. Blanco? Noah. More eels. More eels is right. The first line of this novel is well known. Can you name the title or the author from its less famous second line? Some years ago, never mind how long precisely, having little or no money in my purse and nothing particular to interest me on shore, I thought I'd sail around a little to see the watery part of the world. John Ryan. Titanic. Incorrect. Blanco? That is from Moby Dick by Herman Melville. What four-letter suffix has come to mean scandal since an incident in 1974? Ethan. Gate. Gate from Watergate, that's right. What game has players pushing black and red discs along the ground between two triangles? John Ryan. Shuffleboard. That's correct. Name the capital of Pennsylvania. Ethan. Harrisburg. That's right. Identify the political document that is source of this quotation. With a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. Anyone? 
Ethan. The Homestead Act? That's incorrect. Blanco? It's from the Declaration of Independence. The motion of sunspots is caused by which of the following? The rotation of the sun, the corona, gravity, or solar winds? Ethan. Gravity. Incorrect. Ajaya. The corona? Uh, no, rotation. The Greek warrior Achilles met his death because of his vulnerable heel. What was the name of the Trojan prince who wounded him and caused the... Uh, Ethan? Paris. That's right. And by the way, how do you spell vulnerable? Ajaya. Vulnerable. B U L N. E R B A B L E. That's correct. By whose order were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego cast into the fiery furnace? Anyone? Ethan. Fly the Impaler. Uh, that's incorrect. Lenko. It is Nebuchadnezzar. What term indicates the amount of surface inside a plane figure or on a three dimensional figure? Ajaya. Volume. Incorrect. LCO. LCO. Jake. Surface area? Uh, no. Uh, yes, area is correct. And that is the end of the game. Glencoe. Big swing in the category toss up round lifts Glencoe Charter into the semifinals. We say goodbye to the Rose Cutoff for this year. Pretty young team. Most of these guys will be back again. Guys and girls will be back again next year. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you again next week on South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. Bye. <laughs>